Hello everyone. We are going to look at how to create a four frame slit animation. A slit animation is where uh, there is a transparent sheet with uh, black and white lines and there is an artwork and when you move the transparent sheet the artwork comes to life. That's an example on uh, YouTube as well if you search for slit animation you will see this is one of the examples so these are actually four frames and a black and white sheet so we will look at how to create this okay I'm using uh, illustrator to do this so in illustrator I have uh, my animation is the ball bounce so I have one sheet one layer which has the transparent sheet and the other one is the four frames for the ball bounce okay so the ball is in the air then it goes little down then it stretches and then it squishes okay so this is the animation what you need is the black and white stripes if you see here the black stripes is four times the white stripe so to make things easier I have used one millimeter so if you go to edit preferences units I'm using millimeters <coughs> so it's a uh, four millimeters of black strip and a spacing of one millimeter and when you mask your drawing I have used mask you are going to create one millimeter black stripe and you're going to mask your first frame then when you create your second frame you're going to move your cage by one millimeter and then you will mask the second one and you will do the third one and the fourth one and then you save go to file export export as a PNG file and then you'll get these four images and then the other one that you're going to export is just this one where you have the four stripes uh, the four millimeter black stripes and one millimeter the other one so let us create this so I'll create a new file a4 size is good okay so we will use the clips tool and then create a circle which has no border okay then I'll create a new layer okay I will copy this and then I'll go here and shift control V to copy and paste and then I'm going to move it down so it is halfway through okay then I'll create a new layer shift control V then I'll move it further down then I'll create a new layer shift control V and move it even more down now I'll right click on this one and go to transform scale so horizontal it is going to be 120 and vertical it is going to be 80 okay so it squishes same way here transform scale here it will be 80 horizontal and 120 vertical so it is stretching and everything is in straight line all right so once this is done we'll create a new layer okay make sure that you your unit setup is in millimeters okay once everything is in millimeters you click on the rectangle tool 
and just click here and then the width is going to be one millimeter and height can be say 150. Okay. Actually this has to be four millimeters. We have four frames so four millimeters and 150. So you move it up now what we need to do is we need to copy this control C shift control V but it has to move now see if you go to the transform the X is 85 point something so we will simply make it we need to move it 5 plus 1 6 so 85 plus 6 is 91 that one or two 90 yeah 90 sounds more right so this was at 85 and this is 4 so we need to 85 plus 5 90 because 4 is this width and 1 here okay so that you get a gap of 1 millimeter so I'll select this two control C shift control V now I'll move it here or I will simply type 87 plus 1097 okay. now I'll copy this shift control V and then this will be what we can do is we can make this we can select all of these and make this 0 so it moves and then we can select the top four and we can have an even number there okay. so you don't have to remember the math but it's moving one millimeter every time so we'll continue to do that That's about it. And maybe you can do it one more time. And remove this. So you can have a transparent sheet which is going all the way, but this much is good enough for our work. So we just have to save this layer as a separate layer. Okay, so we have to go to File, Export, Export As, and I'll just name it my Stripes New. Okay, so that image, that layer is saved. Now we need to create new stripes. So this is going to be 1 by 150 and we will do the same thing again. Okay, so again this is at 98, so we'll control C, shift control V and then it has to be moved 98 plus 5, 103. because we need a gap of 4 here okay so this is 98 so 99 100 101 102 and so if you want to check if you have done it right you can create a 4 by 4 just drive it and make sure
I was wrong. It has to be 103. Okay. So control V, shift control V. Then you can move this here and align it. So you can get rid of this point five. and 5.5 that makes sense okay so control c shift control v and again move this here and touch it there control c I think that should be enough. Okay. So we will put it over it and then we'll go to edit, compound path, make so that this is all one object and we'll copy it so we can paste it in the next layer. So we'll select these two, go to object clipping mask make all right so that one is done we'll move to this one shift control v shift control v to paste and now it is going to move by one so 157 becomes 158 and then you go to select everything Clipping mask, make, hide it, select this one, shift control V, and then 157, 158, 159, select everything, object, clipping mask, make, hide that, Shift Control V and one sixty object clipping mask make. So this is the second one, this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. So go to file, export as, more new, okay, and then you go to After Effects, file, new project, right click, import file, you need more new, Control Y radio. Import. Drag it here. Composition. Composition settings. Width will be more. Composition settings make it wider. Okay, so you have this image in this image. Composition, composition, that's fine. Okay, so what is this? This is the background. This is what we need to animate. So move it left, key for position, go to the end, and 
and then animate it it's too fast so go to composition composition settings and make this say eight so the animation is longer now let's stretch these two stretch the keyframe now if you see the animation is playing so you can just print these two and slide the print one on a white paper uh, the ball bounce should be on the white paper and the black and white stripes have to be on the transparent sheet and you can just slide this and then create an animation thank you